heard of set point theory? Let's talk about it. Set point theory states that for any given person, there is a body weight or more likely a range of body weight of about 20 pounds in either direction where a person's body feels the most comfortable, the safest, and is the most likely to be healthy and metabolically healthy. Now keep in mind that this is a scientific theory, which doesn't mean it's just an idea or a hypothesis. It means that there is data to back this up. Now it might seem logical to assume that set point for most people is going to fall somewhere within the normal BMI range, but it turns out that that is not true. Depending on the individual, their set point or set range can fall anywhere on the like huge range that bodies can fall on in terms of size. And whatever a person's set point or set range is, their body is going to work tirelessly to keep them there. You doctor yet? No, dad, I'm 12. Talk to me when you doctor. Body mass index or BMI is a way to determine what individuals may be at risk for certain diseases. BMI is a calculation based upon a person's weight in kilograms divided by the square of height in meters. It is used as a screening tool to help categorize weight and determine one's risk factors for disease. There are several BMI calculators online and you can refer to the chart in your Healthy Living Workbook to find your, your BMI. Fabulous Lessons 101, let's talk about the BMI. I am responding to this comment right here. Um, I look a little bit different because I need more time to research, and I want accurate research. To begin, we first have to acknowledge that the BMI is inherently racist, and fat phobia is linked to the racist history of the BMI. And fat phobia is inherently racist. And here you'll see why. This white man, Adolf Quetelet, made the BMI in the 19th century as a way of determining whether people deserve insurance or not. Let me explain something crucial. This man had no interest in the medical field. He just wanted to control people's insurance. So he created an ideal ratio to determine whether people deserve healthcare or not. And the only people that judged it was white European men. If you don't understand why that's an issue, all races, all bodies are different. And it's been proven that black women, when they have a 37 BMI, it's not as harmful when it's a white person's BMI as a 37. But they use these black women's BMIs to discriminate against them with insurance. So when you tell me BMI obesity is bad, you are not considering socioeconomic status. Since you're encouraging a racist practice. Go to part two. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me. It's not working now, maybe it's the chemistry. It's time to break up so I can make a better. What I eat in a day. Obesity promoter that eats 20,000 calories a day. A cream cheese wanton and leftover orange chicken with leftover mac and cheese. Chocolate pudding cup. Bologna sandwich. Veggie chips. A piece of this cookie. A smoothie bowl with peaches and dragon fruit, chips and salsa, rice and beans, and some of this jackfruit enchilada. Vegan sushi rolls with soy shrimp and crab, and a tempura fried jalapeno popper. Ramen and broccoli. Love you, bye.
love from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'ma take Yo, you're like a window, I'll tear it out Hello. Bitch, he wanna be for the parking lot uh, My niggas dogs so and we park a lot uh, uh, Okay, outfit. I like that. Ooh, shit. Ooh, bitch, pop it. Pop it. Pop it, pop it, pop it. Pop it till he wanna come over the house and pop it. Pop it, don't stop it, bitch. Don't you dare drop it. Ooh, pop it, pop it. The amount of people in comments being like, oh, it's all body positivity until someone chooses to lose weight, it's a personal choice, are starting to sound real similar to choice feminism right now. And it's very frustrating because body positivity is political. It's not a feeling, it's not an emotion. It's an anti-racist, anti-capitalist movement to fight the oppression of fat and other marginalized bodies. So you can choose to pursue weight loss. That's your freedom. But that's not liberation. That doesn't do anything to dismantle systemic oppression against fat bodies. And it's frustrating because they think that when we talk about things like choice feminism, we can talk about how just because women now have a lot more choices doesn't mean that those choices aren't still rooted in or upholding patriarchal values. But when we try to do that same thing with fat phobia and diet culture, y'all get so mad. And then you attack fat creators. For the millionth fucking time, existing as a fat person is not promoting obesity. Loving your body and being confident about your body is also not promoting obesity. So fuck off, bitch. This is a work of art. This is a work of art this is a work of art this is a work of art i hate when i refer to myself as fat and the person try and get more offended than me oh my god jasmine you were not fat you were gorgeous bitch i didn't say i was ugly i said i'm built like a baby michelin man i know i'm fine the fuck one thing i love about bigger bodies the fact that there's just so much to grab hold of one, two, three, and four. <laughs> I got my part. No, your part is great. I'm just scary as hell. That time I was too big for the Museum of Ice Cream. Too big, just let's get out of here. Let them cringe. Let them fucking cringe. Let people watch you and literally be like, this is the most horrendous, most embarrassing, most just volatile thing I've ever watched in my life, and I hope they crumble. Let them. They're disapproving.